Coming up on Action News, I'm at the track in Paso getting ready for the Tri City Sportsman Show. And look, I found one. But that's still to come on Action News. Good morning, everyone. I'm at the track in Pasco. We are getting ready for the Tri City Sportsman Show, and I am here with C Dub from the Outdoor Cooking Camp. So he's been doing this for quite a while, and I'm going to let him tell us what we can expect if we were to come to the Outdoor Cooking Camp. So what can people expect? Well, I've been here for I think 15 years, and obviously what I do mostly is Dutch oven cooking, but. Okay. Uh, you know, salmon and steelhead are a big part of the recreational picture here in the mm -hmm. Tri-Cities area. So we decided to do a salmon filleting demonstration. So okay. we're going to show folks how to fillet this fish. We're going to talk about smoking, even canning that fish, and the oils. That orange color right there on our home canned salmon. This is fall Chinook from the Columbia. And that's the omega-3 oils that our doctor wow. says we should be eating. So. We're going to have some fun and just uh, show folks how to get a little bit more out of their fish. Yeah, because you, you actually mentioned that a lot of people, if they don't really know what they're doing, waste a lot of the fish. They can. You know, knives are a, a big part of it and, and technique. And so mm -hmm. we're going to show s folks some easy tips I've learned over the years and hopefully make their experience filleting and taking care of their salmon and steelhead a, a better experience. Awesome. Well, his. His uh, demo is 45 minutes. It starts at 3 o'clock today, but the doors open at 1 o'clock today. We'll have more coming up next. Back to you. Good morning, everyone. I'm at the Youth Outdoors Unlimited booth here at the track in Pasco. We are getting ready for the Tri City Sportsman Show. It actually starts today at 1 o'clock, so let's get right to it. I'm talking with Cindy here about this business and this company. Uh, actually, not a business. You actually help a lot of people, and you're looking for some Tri City youth. Can you tell me more? We are. We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization that takes kids with life threatening illnesses and physical disabilities on free hunting and fishing trips. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. That's awesome. And you've done quite a bit already. We have. We've taken 26 kids to date and looking for some kids from Tri City. So that's, I bet that is so cool for them to uh, go hunting if they've never done it for the first time ever, you know. And this chair actually helps a lot of kids. Can you tell me a little bit more about the chair I was in? This is an all-terrain action chair that was donated to us by um, ITRON out of Spokane. Um, and it helps our kids have some mobility and independence uh, to and from uh, the blinds, which is sometimes some rough terrain. Mm. Some of them use it. Some of them have their own wheelchairs. You know, some of them aren't in wheelchairs. We do take a lot of kids in wheelchairs. Muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, wow. spinal injuries, those kind of conditions are good fits for our program. But we definitely want people to come out and talk to us. Yeah. Um, if they have a kid that fits our program, we definitely want to see them. We do fishing, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of hunting. Most of the kids want a big game hunt. So. Yeah. You know, and you do all the tax getting big there. All cover the, the taxidermy, taxidermy cover outfitting, that guiding, is so nice. everything. So. Well, don't forget to check them out and also everything else here at the track today, starting at one o'clock. Back to you. Good morning, everyone. I'm at the track in Pasco. We are getting ready for the Tri City Sportsman Show. It starts today at one o'clock. They have a lot of different booths. One of them being a booth that is trying to help stop poaching. Uh, you know, that is actually a very big thing in our states. You know, you, you think that it's in a different country uh, with the elephants, but no, it's, it's any animal that is out of season. So I'm here with Brian. That's, he's going to tell me a little bit more about it because I didn't even know that much about it. Uh, fishing out of season can be considered poaching. So if someone were to come up to your booth, what would you be telling them uh, and how they can help? Um, well, this is called our TIP trailer, and TIP stands for Turn In a Poacher. Okay. And this helps us get the word out about how to contact us. Um, I'm with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife um, Police, and uh, this helps get the word out about how to contact us, how to report violations that they see, how mm -hmm. to report um, suspicious activity out there uh, related to hunting or fishing. And uh, there's a number of different ways they can do that. They can text us tips. They okay. can call us uh, on the phone. They can send it an email. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it, all anonymous. It, it can be all anonymous, yes. <laughs> That's nice to know. Um, and so, you know, all of these animals here, you are able to hunt these animals, but you have to make sure that they are within season. And also, you have a show coming up on Sunday. Can you just give us the title really quickly? Uh, we do have a show. It's called Rugged Justice, and it's uh, airing on Animal Planet. All right, and that starts on Sunday. Well, don't forget to check out the track this weekend. It starts today at 1 for the Tri City Sportsman Show. Back to you. Good morning, everyone. I'm at the track in Pasco. We are getting ready for the Tri City Sportsman Show. It starts today at 1 o'clock, and I'm at the Kolyak Bow Hunters booth. 
So I am joined by Daniel, who is the president. Yes. And can you tell me a little bit about what you are going to be telling people here at the show? This is the, this is the at the Sportsman Show, our club tries to promote archery within the community, and this mm -hmm. is a very good time. So anyone that comes through the doors here at the 2015 Sportsman Show here, the track in Pasco, <laughs> where they, they can shoot a bow and arrow. Mm -hmm. They get a free lesson. Awesome. Anybody gets to shoot. And I actually had a little bit of a lesson, so we're going to shoot something here. Is there anything else while we're walking that you wanted to mention about uh, the bow hunters? We've been with uh, uh, Bev and uh, Merle Schuler, Schuler mm -hmm. Production, for the entire 22 years wow. that they've, they've brought the Sportsman Show to the Tri-Cities. Awesome. We're very happy, very proud to be a uh, part of it. Very cool. And look at this 3D archery range. They've got a lot set up, so if you did want to shoot something, they've got a lot for you to shoot. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up here, make sure Daniel's going to tell me uh, if I'm doing it right. Could you uh, lock and load me there? I've only done this once before, so we'll see. Okay, I'm going to get it going. How's that look, Daniel? A little lower. A little yeah. lower? There you go. All right, back to you guys. Oh, I got it. <laughs>